promoting dialogue and reconciliation in the Arab Gulf region. Newman also referred to the humanitarian efforts of the State of Kuwait, which culminated in the granting of the United Nations to His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Sabah, the title of Leader of Humanitarian Action, and the country's designation as Center for Humanitarian Action, expressing her full appreciation for the important humanitarian contributions made by Kuwait. Newman also expressed her appreciation for the initiative of Kuwait's ambassador to Belgium and the head of its mission to the European Union and NATO, Jassim Al Badawi, regarding hosting a working lunch in her honor with the Arab Gulf ambassadors residing in Brussels at his residence in the Belgian capital last Saturday. Newman stressed that cooperation between the European Union and the Gulf Cooperation Council countries in combating COVID-19 pandemic is very beneficial to both parties, noting that the exchange of information and good practices has allowed a better understanding of the virus, thus limiting its spread. The Kuwait municipality will soon complete official transactions electronically, meaning that all transactions will be completed online. Online transactions enables people to conduct their business from their vicinity without having to come in person to the municipality, a step that embraces social distancing and is more convenient for the residents and staff alike. We, uh, Saleh Labedi has the details. His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah stated that life post the COVID 19 pandemic will not be the same as it was before. The pandemic allowed the municipality of Kuwait to speed up the launch of their electronic initiative. The aim of this initiative is to allow both citizens and residents to complete all their transactions online without needing to visit the municipal office to complete any transaction. Digital services, this is even before Corona. Uh, now all the building license, for example, all building license uh, issued uh, online. Uh, no need for any citizen to come to the municipality to have uh, the license. Uh, all the engineering offices who do the uh, drawings and, and, uh, and uh, for these uh, houses and buildings, they can upload this, uh, they can apply online and they can upload all the drawing. Uh, municipality can uh, accept these drawings, review it and, and issue it uh, online without any human contact. Uh, actually, uh, this, this kind of plan and this kind of project has been there even before Corona. And and, before, and because of Corona crisis, we accelerate these uh, projects and now we are expanding to all services to be, uh, to be digital and to ac accelerate the transformation of the Kuwait municipality to be, to be a smart uh, municipality. This initiative comes in handy during the current circumstances where social distancing and performing tasks online is both safe and encouraged for both the public and the staff. Corona crisis it has a great impact about how we do works in municipality. Uh, Kuwait municipality resume uh, full uh, services now, uh, and 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 based on the uh, Kapin uh, uh, board of uh, ministers in Kuwait uh, instructions. Uh, now with the Kuwait municipality applying the social distancing. Uh, and working as per the um, guidelines with 30% of its staff. Uh, and we will continue increasing the staff uh, gradually. Uh, and now, uh, already municipality, Kuwait municipality, uh, uh, have, have a good progress on, on changing to the smart uh, services. This initiative will result in long-term gains for both the people and the municipality alike since there won't be any long queues and the traffic will definitely decrease, which reflects positively on the environment by reducing pollution and paper waste, since all the transactions will be performed online, which goes along Kuwait's 2035 development plan. From the Kuwait municipality, this was Sahih al reporting for Kuwait English News.